She stopped and looked at her friend. Ben, this is proof that Binks and Daniels have been running a pedophile ring for years. It shows they've had help to stay undercover. Ministers of religion and not just revelationist church. There's police, judges, lawyers, politicians, as well as Australian. I can see American, European, Asian. This is awful. I'm sorry, Sue Ellen. I had to show you the evidence. There's more. A lot more. He even has a video diary. But I won't let you see that. This is enough. We've swamped Will with enough tasks impossible to complete. He's exhausted and feeling low and unloved. His pawn hasn't made it through from Daniel's since we've been intercepting it. He's now making mistakes and accessing his old files. That's how Bluey could trace these. Will is desperate. He's now demanding an immediate delivery of photographs and DVDs. Daniels has promised to leave it at a drop-off point on the Northern Territory border. I say we take him there and arrest him. We don't need him anymore. We've got Daniels. Sue Ellen's hand was shaking as she pulled out a cigarette from its packet. She lit it and stood up. Ben, do it. And do it soon. She walked to the door of her office. As she let her friend out, she said, And Ben, I don't want him back. You know what I mean. Two days later, Major Binks received a message from his contact in the Adelaide Revelationist Church, a Major Daniels. Neither knew that their communications was managed by the Pine Gap commander and her chief crypto analyst. Major Binks hurriedly requisitioned one of the facility's off-road vehicles and drove south to the Northern Territory South Australian border. As he retrieved his parcel from beside a large and conspicuous tree near the border sign, two AFP officers arose from behind a screen of bushes. One held a shovel, the other held a pistol. It was aimed at the Major's chest. The Pine Gap police officers stood quietly, like two demon sentinels waiting to assist their victim's departure. The only words they spoke was to instruct the Major to start digging. The Eagle Scout sweated profusely as he dug all the while trying to convince his captors that they really didn't want to execute him. He offered them every conceivable reward his warped mind could think of, but he was quite unsuccessful. Major, give it a rest. We have our orders and you have the evidence, said Constable Neil Connor. When he had decided the hole was deep enough, Neil said, Now say your prayers. The single shot that rang out disturbed a flock of grey and red galahs. They were the only creatures upset by the Major's departure. <laughs>